Auckland Rugby League, 1950 to 1969. 1950 saw Great Britain to New Zealand, and Auckland were defeated 26-17. Auckland went on a three-match Southern tour and defeated Wellington 13-10, Canterbury 17-8, but were defeated 8-5 by West Coast. Auckland had defeated Wellington 41-4 in Auckland earlier in the year. On the club scene, Mount Albert won the Fox Memorial. In 1951, France toured New Zealand for the first time. France defeated Auckland 15-10. Ironically, Des White missed four close-range penalties. Mount Albert and Richmond were joint winners of the Fox Memorial. In 1952, Auckland defeated Canterbury 18-8, but once again, the West Coast defeated Auckland 19-12. Ponsonby won the Fox Memorial Shield. In 1953, An inept Auckland team were thrashed by an aggressive Australian side 26-4. Also in 1953, Auckland defeated the United States All-Stars 54-26. Point Chevalier won the Fox Memorial. In 1954, Auckland defeated Canterbury 35-15. And the following day, Auckland laid the Wingham Park hoodoo to rest and defeated the West Coast 30 points to 14. Triumph over Thuggery read the headlines as Auckland defeated Great Britain 5-4. Des White suffered a split spleen when Englishman Greenall delivered a drop kick to Des White's stomach. 1954 also saw the first World Cup and Auckland provided nine backs and three forwards. Ponsonby won the Fox Memorial. In 1955, Auckland went perilously close to losing a home match against the South Island province when they drew 19 all with West Coast and 18 all with Canterbury. France were once again in New Zealand and Auckland defeated them 17-15. Richmond won the Fox Memorial. In 1956, Auckland defeated Otago 51-11 in the first Bloodlet Rugby League match in Dunedin. Auckland then went on to defeat Canterbury 13-5 and West Coast 9-7. Richmond won the Fox Memorial. 1957 saw an Auckland Junior Rep team travel to Australia, and two years later, Brian Reedy and Gary Phillips recrossed the Tasman as Kiwis. Ellerslie won the Fox Memorial. In 1958, Great Britain defeated Auckland 24-17 in a thriller at Carlow Park. In an incident-packed encounter, referee Vic Belsham awarded Great Britain a penalty try after Alex Murphy was obstructed by Ron Mackay. Later, Vic Belsham observed an English forward leaning on a goalpost as Ian Gray missed a conversion, but kicked the resulting penalty goal. Auckland defeated West Coast 13-11 and Canterbury 36-15 on its 1958 Southern Tour. 1958 also saw championship playoffs culminating in a grand final where Ponsonby defeated Otahu 16-7 in the inaugural grand final. Fox Memorial winner Ponsonby finished its 1958 Stormont Shield match against Rip Rooster winner Marist with 10 men after Joe Ratama was sent off. Keith Pell disputed the decision and was sent off. Three minutes later, Len Erickson late tackled Marist forward Alan Reichelman and referee Vic Belsham sent a third player off in the space of three minutes. Manly Warringah toured New Zealand and defeated Otahu 42-12, were defeated by Ellerslie 16-15, and then defeated Ponsonby 18-5. In the Otahu game, Manly hooker George Lennon had a little finger bitten to the bone, for which the unnamed Otahu forward apologised and left the field on a stretcher. Ponsonby won the Fox Memorial. In 1958, the Auckland Rugby League introduced the controversial district scheme. Great Britain defeated Auckland 24-17, and Ponsonby won the Fox Memorial and Rukatai Shield, with Marist winning the Roop Rooster and Stormont Shield. 1959, through an eight-team competition, Northern Districts and Eastern Districts were joined by Southern Districts and Western United. Ellerslie, Glenora and Marist were playing solo, as was Richmond, because Ponsonby refused to amalgamate and went and played in the senior second division. 
1960 saw Auckland defeat France 14-5. The game had been under threat of cancellation until a few hours before kickoff. Only then did French manager Anton Blame name the players who had assaulted referee Vic Belsham at Carlaw Park two days earlier. Auckland lost its unbeaten home record against South Island teams when West Coast defeated Auckland 22-18 and captured the Northern Union Cup and Mates Cup. Auckland regained the two trophies over Queen's Birthday weekend and defended the Northern Union Cup by defeating Canterbury 8-2. Eastern United and Southern Districts shared the Fox Memorial. In 1961, Auckland defeated West Coast and Canterbury to retain the Northern Union Cup and Mates Cup. Auckland defeated Australia 13-8 before a crowd of 17,000 at Carlaw Park. Eastern United won the Fox Memorial. In 1962, Canterbury gained its second victory over Auckland and its first for 37 years when they defeated Auckland 16-13. A day earlier, Auckland had defeated West Coast 11-4. Auckland defeated Great Britain 46-13, which was their biggest ever defeat. By the end of the year, the Northern Union Cup was back in Greymouth. Eastern United defeated Hornby 25-2 to win the first Rothmans 1000 tournament. Eastern United and Glenora shared the Fox Memorial. In 1963, Canterbury retained the Northern Union Cup when they drew with Auckland 10-all. Auckland defeated the Springboks 10-4, after the Springboks had defeated the Kiwis 4-3. Eastern United and Southern Districts defeated Parramatta with identical scores of 2013 after Parramatta had beaten Glenora 13-11. Eastern United won the Fox Memorial. In 1964, the district scheme was scrapped. Auckland regained the Northern Union Cup, beating Canterbury 13-7, West Coast 44-2 and 31-2, and also defeated the rest of the North Island 29-7. There were three players who registered double centuries, Ernie Wiggs Odahoo, 218, Reg Cook, City Newton, 205. Roger Tate, Glenora, 203. France defeated Auckland, 13-10. Odahu won the Fox Memorial. In 1965, Australia defeated Auckland, 18-2. Marist won the Fox Memorial. Auckland won the quadrangular tournament, defeating Wellington, 11-4. In 1966, Great Britain defeated Auckland 12-11 in the last minute when Arthur Keegan kicked a penalty goal. Marist won the Fox Memorial. Auckland won the quadrangular tournament, defeating Wellington 37-21. In 1967, University returned to the Auckland inter-club scene. Ponsonby won the Fox Memorial. In 1968... Auckland made a tactical error of taking the Northern Union Cup to Greymouth in 1968, as with the World Cup being played, 10 of the 19 Kiwis were Aucklanders. Auckland were defeated 16-3. The next day, Auckland beat Canterbury 29-15. South Sydney were the Aussie champions and played three matches in Auckland. They defeated Auckland champion Mount Albert 27-13, Ponsonby 31-3, and Auckland Maori 33-14, Mount Albert won the Fox Memorial. Auckland defeated Wellington 28-4 to win the quadrangular tournament. In 1969, Auckland defeated Australia 15-14. The match saw Kangaroos forward John Wittenberg suffering a fractured cheekbone and referee Earl Pilcher knocked unconscious by an Australian player. Both were carried off by stretcher between the 70th and 73rd minute. As Pilcher lay prone, Jung Young scored what would have been a match-winning try for Auckland, but there was no one to award it. Touch judge Ron Caddy refereed the remainder of the game. Mount Albert won the Fox Memorial, and for the fifth year in a row, Auckland won the quadrangular tournament, defeating Canterbury 28-16.